Hi guys and welcome to my review for the EPZ520. This is a 5BA set uh, and is part of the, let's say, older generation of EPZ products. Um, it's basically made up of uh, a 22955, double 29689 uh, BAs for, for the mids, the 22955 is for the base, and double 31736s for the highs. It's, it's in essence the same formula used in the 630, which is a 6BA unit, uh, which it's basically the model above this one, and that one just has double 22955s. Uh, anyway, this is the box, simple, very kind of... This is a well, don't, let's not forget one thing. This is a product from back in 2017, okay. Um, and well, I'll get to that in a second, anyway. That's the sleeve, it's got some, some information in the back. It's a 20 ohm impedance, um, 22 ohm impedance, sorry, um, and 110 dB sensitivity. And then the box itself, you open it up, there we go. The IEM scan over there. Uh, the carrying case over there, which I'll show to you in a second, and brings these tips, which already in the 630 uh, were an issue. And I, I honestly think that these tips um, really, really hold back uh, EPZ products. Uh, well, some of them at least. Um, I mean, they 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 just don't do any justice to the to the, to the sound of, of of what EPZ earphones can 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 give us. Uh, you know, and it's. It's a it's a little bit frustrating actually to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm I'm assuming that there will be people where these tips will function, but trust me, I tried these tips and no, uh, I I put on my my KB Euro sevens or I put on my um, TRNT tips or my Clar my Clar my TRI Clarions or a few other tips and they all work substantially better, substantially better. Anyway, uh, this is the carrying case, nice. We've seen this used already many times before, and most of the products from EPZ, at least the, the higher priced ones, they, they've got this case. As for the, the IEM, it's a really nice small IEM, very nice resin shell, beautifully made. I mean, beautifully, beautifully made. Really nothing that can be said about it there. Uh, the cable is actually not a bad cable. It's actually, although, you know, you look at it and it doesn't look like anything fancy, and it does tangle just a little bit. It's actually not a bad cable. I have to say it's not a bad cable, and that's why I actually left it on. As for the tips, I'm using these Penon ISN tips. Um, it's the ones with the, the, greens, the green stem. And these tips they just work beautifully with the, the, the 520. Be it these tips or be it the... Uh, the uh, uh, KB ears, they work very nice. One thing that's interesting, and it's something which kind of was be being done back in the back in the, in the day, so back in 2017, this was kind of very much a, a common thing to, to do, was if you see, that's a very, very, very narrow nozzle. Trying to focus there a little bit. That's a very narrow nozzle. But anyway, that's what they used to use back then. Now it's we've gone into a, onto an era where everything is more wider nozzles and, and we have all this. Um, and you can actually see that the, the exit bore is, is pretty pretty small as well, as you can see. Um, anyway, uh, that's the EPZ, the 520. Fits nicely, no issues. It really fits, you know, really snug inside my ear. Beautiful. Be honestly, beautiful. What do I have here to compare with it? Well, I've got here the BGVP DM6, basically the same configuration as well, uh, five BAs. I've got here the, the Hydis MD4, four BAs with switches. Uh, I've got here obviously the, the 620, which is basically the same thing, just an extra BA on the base. And I've got here the AS24 from KZ, which is probably the, you could kind of almost say it's kind of the reference now to be, uh, had at under two hundred dollars for an OBA set. Okay, obviously each one of them has their pluses and their minuses. Um, and uh, I'm going to try and kind of position the EPZ, the 520, with these. Um, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So these first four, they all have a somewhat similar base curve, which is. Um, Kind of neutralish with a with a little bit of a of a of a bump in the mid base, but overall kind of neutralish. Only the KZ uh, steers away a little bit from that. Okay, but ultimately these, especially these three, they have a very similar base curve, very very similar base curve. And then uh, when they enter the the mid, so let's say from 
800, 1K onwards, it's where they start kind of deviating from each other. Um, this particular unit that I have here uh, does not graph like uh, a few other uh, DMC figures that I saw. It's got a very, very chilled out uh, mid range. Uh, so the early, the early part of the mid range, uh, you know, on, in the area where usually the pin again uh, happens, it's very relaxed, very subdued. And what basically then uh, that makes is that this kind of sounds its very own way and not how I think the DM6 should, should sound. I actually got this set second hand, so maybe, maybe that's the reason why this is happening. Um, I don't dislike the sound, it's a little bit on the darker side, but on the plus side it's not sibilant, it's not aggressive. You know, it's, it's a very easy to listen sound. Um, so, you know, that aggressiveness that you sometimes find, you know, the 5k peaks, it doesn't happen there. Uh, very, it's somewhat very recessed in the mids, that is true. More noticeable with female vocals than with male vocals, but overall it's, it's okay. The high is the MD4, you know, I tried everything to like this set, I really did, and I tried to understand the way that they were trying to tune it, and, 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 and you know, I, I, I kind of hoped that the switches, but no, this has just got one of those very awkward tunings that just doesn't sound good. This this is one of those IEMs, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is one of those IEMs that the graph and what you listen to kind of are very closely matched. It graphs very bad, very, very awkward, and it sounds just very awkward. It sounds hollow. Uh, you know, this, I don't, I don't know, I, I I put it here because it's kind of priced the same value as the, as the, as the, as the uh, 520, but honestly, to be totally honest, I mean, it shouldn't even be here because it is so below the rest of them in terms of performance that I, 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 I and it's a pity because I like Heidi's, I like, I like the MS5, I think the MS5 is a, an amazing IM contrary to what many people thought about it, I think the MS5 is a, Fantastic I am. The problem was that not many people gave it a chance to try out the proper nozzle and tip combination. Nobody did that. They just kind of left it where it was and they automatically came to their conclusions that, oh, it was too aggressive and this, this and that. No. The MS5 in that particular configuration with the uh, base tips nozzle, uh, sorry, and the base tips, it sounds very much like the ISN H50. Okay. Very, very similar. Uh, I like the MS3. I think it's a fantastic M. I like the MS1. The older, the older generation, because there's going to be a new model now, the Galaxy. So I like the older MS1s. I like the MS2, which is a one plus one. Fantastic IM. It was one of my go-to wrecks at under $100 if you were looking for a one plus one. The MD4, um, no, they need to go back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, 630. Sorry, 620. My apologies. Um, it's a nice IM. It's got a nice sound. Uh, suffers from two issues. First of all, it is very noticeable, the BA timbre, um, a lot of the times. Uh, and it's okay, you know, it's kind of not too bad, but that BA timbre, um, although not aggressive or harsh or anything, it just makes it sound very clinical, so it lacks that nice tonality. So in terms of timbre and tonality, <clears throat> it leaves a little bit to be desired. That's the first problem that it has. And the second problem is that price at what it is, which is roughly $210, give or take, it has very stiff competition in the name of the AudioSense DT600 and also, and I actually should have also included here, come to think of it, uh, the uh, Blue Lover from uh, Flow Audio. Uh, you know, kind of... Mm. Alright, and then on the right side, the KZ, the AS24, which I personally feel is one of the better uh, KZ IEMs. AS24, PR1, Pro, um, the HM20, the CCA, the ZVX, um, the DFI, um, the Krilla now more recently, um, and also the, the, the VZ10 are all, well, and even the, the, the now the CCA Duo, all of those IENs belong to that group of, of KZ products that are well tuned. And the AS24 is definitely one of the ones that belongs to that group and is higher up in the food chain. It's probably very close to the top, if not at the top, actually, if I have to consider several factors. It's super, super, uh, in terms of its technical capabilities, it's, it's super, it's superb. It's it's a really well done IEM. It's got fantastic tonality, fantastic timbre. Yes, you do notice a little bit of the BA timbre here and there, but nothing that's offensive. And when you consider what they've done 
but the switches which do work, the switches do change the signature of the IEM, the switches are there for a reason and they do do their job. When you consider what they've done in terms of the, 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 the driver count, which is okay, it's not really important, but anyway, if you consider it's got 12 BAs, it's got the switches, it's well built, uh, and it's priced at just over $110, you know, it's, you, 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 it's very difficult to find another, almost impossible to find another all BA set that can outright beat it because it doesn't exist, at least not that I know of. So it, it really cuts, it makes people, you know, other manufacturers have their, their work cut out for them. So what about the, the 520? How does the 520 in the midst of all of this uh, kind of uh, uh, stack up? Well, uh, those of you that follow me know that I like very much this one. This, this model here, which is the 530, which is their EPZ top of the line, 5BA set, all Sonium. And I think this IEM is an absolute beast. It's a hidden gem. Um, fair enough, you know, there will be those that eventually might not like it, that just doesn't cut it for them or whatever. But overall, I think this is one of those IEMs that has gone under the radar for way, way too long. And I, will, I was super happy that I found it, and I was super happy that I was able to share this with you guys, because up to now, and the people that I know have gotten this IM, um, I think only one person wasn't 100% satisfied. The rest have all been very, very satisfied, very impressed. They didn't expect this from EPZ. And the same thing happened to me. It is an absolute beast of an IM. Sound, built, everything has just been done spot on. And to cut a long story short, the 520 is that. Is that in a mini version. Having said this, I have to also say that my initial impression of the 520 wasn't a favorable one. Why? Because I tried the, no, the stock tips <coughs> and because I was busy with other reviews, I didn't really give it a little bit of time to, you know, let me try this tip, that tip. I just kind of, okay, all right, whatever, this is going to be like the 620 and that's that. And no, when I actually took time to start listening to it a little bit more, trying different tips, try this one, try that. This as well with complies, by the way, if it's a narrower ball complies, so it allows for a deeper insertion, kind of, kind of, you wanna get that etymotic feel, this thing sounds incredible, incredible. So this is, and I say it with all the letters of the, of the English alphabet, this, this is a mini EPZ 530. Very, very competent IEM. What are its problems? I'll tell you what its problems are. First of all, the price. Uh, $190, give or take. It's neither here nor there. Okay, you could say, okay, it's more or less. Yes, but it's got a problem when it comes to the price, which is the AS24. And it doesn't have enough, uh, ultimately, to justify the price difference to the AS24. These two, okay are definitely the better IMs under that $200 price bracket in terms of multiple BA uh, sets unquestionably that that I can tell you straight away these two then then the flow audio the the blue lover which I should have actually included here my apologies uh, and then we have the 620 then the BGP and lastly well this this doesn't even qualify but anyway so that's my take on how those things, you know, what that the, the grading of these IMs should be. Um, base, it is, um, when I actually compare it to the uh, to its brother, which uses two BAs for the base, I didn't see much difference, to be honest. Uh, this is 110 dBs, 20, 22 ohms. That's 113 dBs, 41 ohms. So uh, there is that issue of the impedance difference and the overall uh, sensitivity. But somehow, when you listen to it, this just sounds just that little extra warmer. It just sounds really, really capable. It's a little bit, a little bit what happened with the AS16 and the AS24. The AS16 had had two, uh, two 22955s, and this one only has one, the AS24. However, when you listen to the quality of the bass, the AS24's quality is superior. The quantity? No, definitely the AS16. And that's kind of what happens here. In terms of quantity, ultimately, yes, the, the 620 will edge out slightly. But in terms of quality, this is a better IM, okay? Mids and highs, they are similar, but somehow that matching between the bass, the mids and the highs, it just makes things sound more pleasant. And the first thing that you notice straight away is that this is way more 
correct in terms of timbre and tonality. Way more. The timbre and the, con and the tonality here, especially considering it's an OBS set, for me, spot on. Over there, like I said, mm, left a little bit to be desired. It's okay, but I was expecting more. Here, it's spot on. Timbre and tonality are perfect on the 520, okay? Male vocals and female vocals are fine. A little bit of forwardness on the female vocals here and there, but nothing that's out of whack. Some instrument, the, mo the majority of the instruments as well are very well done. Uh, only some trumpets, like Up and Up from Jeff Ryan, can, but that's a difficult song, mind you, so it's not even fair. It can a little bit sometimes come across as, mm, but like mixing with Margarita from Jacob Griffith, the guitar sounds amazing in here. Absolutely amazing. Um, only again, on very few occasions, do the plaques sound a little bit over clinical, over metallic, but for the most part, fantastic. You listen to, for example, um, another one of the songs that I, I like using for 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 uh, you know getting idea of bass and bass impact from Dust to Door from George Duke. It's got very nice slam. I mean, it, it's not slamming like a, uh, it's not going to slam like a DD, but it's got very nice slam considering it's just one single twenty two nine fifty five. Very nice slam. Um, the little a little fuge in G minor from Jacques Lassois as well. It's very nice. In a sentimental mood from Cecile Norby, her voice is fantastic, much more pleasant, much more pleasurable to listen here than it is on the 620, way more, okay? So, uh, in terms of its frequency response, bass and mids, uh, nothing to be said but good things in terms of its superior to the 620, out and right superior. Uh, in terms of the treble, again, a little bit, uh, it's, it's kind of similar, but somehow there's a little bit of extra polish, a little bit of extra cleanliness. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know, because in terms of the mids and the highs, it's basically the same BA, so you would expect them to sound somehow the same, but obviously they, 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 they have been, there have been changes done there to the internal crossover network that just make it sound different, okay? Uh, technically, it's got a decent enough sound stage. I would have liked it a little bit wider. A little bit wider, but it's decent. Imaging is pretty good. Detail retrieval is pretty good. Uh, and resolution as well is pretty good. Okay. Um, I haven't even been talking about these two because this is just a, a, a an IM which is so much better than these two. Well, the Hades, let's even forget it. But it is superior to the, to the DM6. The DM6 costs basically the same thing. So these two are out of the, the competition. Let's put it that way. As for these three, compared to the 620 as well, the 520 is a superior I am so this one you can also exclude it which basically just leaves us these two and the flow the, the blue the, the flow audio blue blue level which I don't have here but compared here to the to the um, to the uh, um, the, the AS24 what can I say then or what how can I better position it well um, the AS24 will sound uh, a little bit more uh, warm, a little bit more um, lush uh, as compared to this. This will, uh, at the same volume level, this plays louder than that, unquestionably. Obviously, that's a, 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 a that's that's due to the you know all the crossover networks that they got in here. Yeah, that kind of does take away some of the sensitivity. Um, this offers you a more kind of harmonious tune. This offers a, an alternative tune, okay, which I don't even know what, how to call it. But it's so well done, honestly. It is so well done that it's really a pleasure to listen to. I mean, yes, okay, it's got a relatively early pin again, and then dips, and then up. And so it's kind of a little bit up and down. And when you look at the graph, you say to yourself, oh my God, this is going to be such a mess. But the truth is, when you actually listen to it, it is very, very nice. However, however, having said that, let me just remind you. Tips, you have to make sure that you choose the right tips. Un unquestionably. And then the source that you connect to it will also help in making it shine. The Cayenne, uh, the, the RU7 on here sounds fantastic. The M15 sounds good, but somehow the, this just marries better. So I would say a warmer sounding source will counteract uh, to a certain degree the, the, the more clinical, the more clean sound that this has and bring together a nice balance. Uh, with the VE, uh, I liked it as well, but it, it again, it, it wasn't the best match, the VE here. Uh, with the um, with the uh, EPZ with the with the, um, the the little dongle that they have the, this one the, the 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 TP30 very nice matching as well better than the TP20 
um, and I also did some listening with the Qlix. Also worked fantastically well, matched pretty nicely with the Qlix. And I also listened uh, uh, with the um, uh, Pinon Tail. Again, another good match. I think the the Pinon Tail, the fact that it uses the forty one, uh, the, the the Cyrus Logic forty one chip, um, is one of the reasons why it it just matches nicely with us. I could be wrong, but I just feel. Somehow, uh, uh, most of the the ESS stuff didn't. I don't know. It just. I'm not saying that the ESS is not good because obviously this is this is using ESS, but um, it just didn't match the best way here. Uh, the 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 CS41 198 or the 131s. Uh, the, the 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 dongles that use that chip somehow kind of married better with the 520. Anyway, guys, that's my little take here on the 520. It's not a I don't. I didn't want to make this a long review, but it's already a long review. Let me just now quickly just show you the graphs, and uh, we wrap it up. Okay, take care. Hi guys, and welcome now to the graph section for the EPZ five twenty. Let me just quickly take away some of these graphs. Okay, so this is the graph of the five twenty. By looking at it, you'd say to yourself, "Okay, this is not going to be something you know that I'm going to enjoy." But the reality is, it actually is a nice sounding IEM. It, it, it very much is. And this one, and, and you know, the high this is the complete opposite because you look at the graph of the high this as well. I mean, you look at that graph and you say to yourself, okay. And then when you listen to it, oh, yeah, okay, it doesn't sound good. But the, the EPZ, no, the EPZ does sound good. It's got a kind of, like I said, flattish bass, you know, a little bit of emphasis here on the mid bass, apparently bleeding into the mids and so on. But in reality, when you listen to it, not really. I mean, there's a slight roll off here below, let's say 50 hertz into the sub bass, but it's fine. There's, a, there's, a, there's hints of sub bass there present, and it was fine. It didn't really uh, bother me. Uh, as I said, the pin again is a little bit early, um, not too abrupt. I mean, uh, we're talking about everything staying between 73 to 82, so roughly 10 dB, so it's not, luckily it's not a, 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 a aggressively, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the rise, and it's got straight away this dip, and then peaks again, and then dip, this dip here nicely is, not, is, is actually quite welcome, because it doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, show, the, you know, sibilance or anything of the sort, and then it's got these two peaks here, it's one, I guess you could say a part of them or couple related, but it's got decent enough treble, you know, the, 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 the upper mids are not aggressive or harsh, it, it's fine. This is the graph of the 620, which, you know, we look at it and say to yourself, okay, this is similar, but somehow it just sounds, it just doesn't sound the same. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's a huge day and night difference. But, uh, you know, it's the timbre and the tonality of the, of the 620 compared to the 520. It's just, it's just off. Um, it could be the fact that the, the, the pin again is even, uh, er, you know, it rises and peaks earlier. Uh, yes, this part here is actually not too bad. It's also got that dip there, like the, like the, the 520. And then all that. There's, there's a lot of similarities here, but it's just somehow it just doesn't come across with the same, um, the same pleasurable tone as the 520 okay so that's out next one now here yeah, that's the the dm6 well my dm6 i've seen other dm6s and they were more energetic here yeah. and this one no very relaxed it's a very similar bass but the fact that there's not much energy here there does make you know mid sound a little bit recessed and there's a lot a lot of detail on the on the positive side sibilance and so on and so forth doesn't really exist but anyway th this is what i have so i, I had to compute with this um, next one is uh, the, the KZ, the AS24, and this is not the one that has the more, let's say, kind of usual kind of tune. The bass is completely done in a totally different manner, more of a sub bass focus, very relaxed in the mid bass and transitioning to the mids. Uh, and the pit again is nice and, and nice and relaxed, although it starts early, it's nice and relaxed, peaks at just over 2k, and then, you know, kind of plateaus, a little bit of a, of a peak here, which is coupler related and not in decent extension. It's probably the one that overall has got the best technicalities without a question, uh, you know, that it does. But, uh, you know, when you listen to it and you listen to the 520, um, Yes, uh, it is better technically, but doesn't absolutely destroy the 520. And on the other hand, the 520 also doesn't have enough going for it to justify the difference in price. Uh, that's why I, I consider these two to be, you know, the best or the better ones under this price bracket of up to $200. Um, and then obviously, of course, the, the blue lever, which I didn't include yet. And then finally, the MD4 from Hades. And... and Seriously, uh, trust me when I say that this just sounds wrong. 
this I am just sounds wrong in the story. Um, and, and it's a pity. It's a pity because I actually do like high this. I'm a fan of their products. They've got some nice sounding products. But this is um, this was not one of them. It just sounds off, hollow. Um, it, it kind of honks. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, EPZ520. Nice IM. 5 BAs. Seems 5 BAs has been the formula that is most successful for EPZ. Let's see what they come up with next. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right? You take care now. Bye-bye.